Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton and welcome back to another review. Today we are looking at an RFID blocking wallet, specifically the one from the Ridge in a forged carbon version. So let's get at it. So first, before we even get started, I have been using Slim wallets for several years now. I dropped the Costanza wallet some time ago and my back and everything else has thanked me a lot ever since. And a wallet for your money. <laughs> Before I was actually using a wallet from a company called Bellroy. I had two of them. One got ruined in an accident and the second one that you see here decided to take a trip through the washer and dryer so the leather got all stretched out and ruined. After having gone through two of them, I started looking for a more durable option and that's where I landed on the Ridge Wallet, which is a two plate design like you see here. If you go on the Ridge Wallet website, you can see they have three different versions. There's an aluminum version, titanium version, and a carbon version. And each of those have different color variants or finish variants. The aluminum version will be $75, the titanium version will be 105, and this carbon variant that you see here is $115. From there, you have to choose your options. I went with the forged carbon version that you can see here with the money clip design instead of the strap. Now the reason I went for that is I like the look of the money clip better and I was also kind of worried about the strap elastic getting loose over time. I also don't use cash all that often so the money clip makes it a lot easier for me to just stow a couple of bills if I need to. Now the overall function of the Ridge Wallet is pretty simple. If you're used to a conventional pocket design, this is different. So at the bottom you have this tab, you press it up and you fan out the cards to grab which one you need. The top of the Ridge Wallet is actually radius, so it makes it a little bit easier to press your cards back in, but that is the basic overall function. The elastic bands on either side allow you for up to 12 cards. I find that seven or eight is about the sweet spot because anything more than that and the wallet starts to get really wide, which really defeats the purpose of having a slim wallet to begin with. Each of your designer plates are actually bolted in with screws. You are given some extra screws and a screwdriver to come with the kit, so if anything ever happens to one of those, you have replacements. Underneath those plates that they are actually bolted to are your RFID blocking plates that then sandwich together with your cards. All right, so let's get into the review of the Ridge Wallet itself. One, it does take a little bit of time to get used to the fanning out process and you can be fumbling through it the first couple days. Now, after a couple days, I got really used to it, but I did find with thinner items like your license or an insurance card, it is a little bit harder to get those out, unlike the credit cards, which seem to slide out and slide back in very easily. The other thing is this wallet is the exact size of a credit card. So that does run you into a couple little issues that you need to know about. One, with the money clip, you have to quad fold your bills instead of bifolding folding them like you do with most money clips. So it's a little bit more annoying if you use cash a lot and you have to get that in and out of the wallet a lot. And again, since it's the same size as a credit card, if you carry around business cards on a regular basis inside your wallet, they are longer than a credit card. I really wish business cards were the same size as a credit card, but that's just not the case. So if you carry business cards a lot, you're not gonna be able to carry them inside this wallet either. One thing I do notice with the carbon wallet versus the other variant is that it is a lot lighter. I do have some friends that have the titanium and the aluminum versions. The carbon version is significantly lighter and it makes front pocket carry a little bit easier because you don't notice it as much in your pocket. Now, speaking of carrying it in your pocket, unlike a conventional leather wallet, you will not want to have anything else in the same pocket as this wallet because of the hard edges. The other thing is this will not conform to your body over time like a leather wallet would. So you don't get those rounded soft edges. If you wear tighter pants, I do not, I wear stretchy jeans. But if you do, you will see the harder edges of the wallet protruding out of your pocket. So this wallet is RFID blocking. That is a separate subject that I went into another video that you can click here. It's one of those nice features to have, but it is in just addition. I really bought this wallet for the rest of the function that it provided. So overall, what did I think of the Ridge Wallet? One, I like the overall design of it. The two plate system and the durability of the materials is really what I was going after and that's what I got here. I was a little bit disappointed when I first got the wallet in. If you look, it does not exactly look like the forged carbon that's in the picture. It really more looks like a scratched carbon. Now I should say I got in touch with Ridge regarding this issue and they are willing to swap it out. So I will follow up in the comments to see if the new one that comes in actually looks more like the picture. So the good parts about this, it's extremely durable, which is what I was going after. It's very light, so I'm glad I got the carbon version. It comes with a lifetime guarantee and a 30 day swap out if you don't like it. 
The little annoyances you run into is having to quad fold your bills and the fact that you're running into hard edges with the wallet, which would be the same for any wallet of this design. So guys, what do you think? Do you use the Ridge wallet or some other slim design? I wanna hear from you. If you hit up the comments in the comment section below and let me know. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you get more reviews like this in the future. Until then, on to the next ones. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.